Hi bio students, this is my first video of this week. We are going to be talking about community interactions, growth patterns, and succession this week. So this is our first video, it's community interactions. So for this one, our key concept is organisms interact as individuals and as populations. So we're going to be focusing on like some different types of competition on some different types of relationships that animals can have with one another or with plants. So we have competition and predation. These are two important ways in which organisms interact with one another. So first off we have competitions. This is when two organisms fight for the same limited resource. So that limited resource could be the food in the area, the water, general space if they need, mates, and various other things as well. So there's two types of competition that we're going to be focusing on. One of them is called intra-specific competition. Intra-specific is competition between different species. So it'd be between two different animals or maybe two different plants or maybe even a plant and an animal. Interspecific is between the same species, so it'd be like tigers fighting or anything that's fighting for the same area or resource if it's in the same species. So like I said, we have two tigers fighting here, so that would be our interspecific competition. Intra is different, inter is the same. And I know personally too, I still get those two terms mixed up. So intra different, inter the same. And we also have predation and this occurs when one organism captures and then eats another one. We've probably all seen predation happen somewhere out in the wilderness. So we have our predator versus prey. The predator is the one who is hunting to eat. The prey is the one that is being hunted. So we have a snake and a mouse or a rat. So in this example, that snake would be the predator and the mouse would be the prey. And then here's where I think it gets a little bit more interesting. So we're going to talk about three types of symbiotic re relationships amongst organisms. So symbiosis is just kind of like how organisms interact with one another. And there are three main types. And you can actually just think about these in our own lives as well, which is really interesting because if you think about like your relationships with other people, you could maybe fit it into one of these things. So our first type of symbiotic relationship that we are going to look at is called mutualism. So this is when both organisms benefit from one another. So there are multiple types of mutualism, but I'm not going to give you a ton of examples just because on your Google form that you're going to do, you have to say an example that I did not say on here. So. One example is called is an oxpecker and a rhino. So these are the little birds that sit on rhinos' backs. And what happens and why it's a mutualistic relationship? Well, those little oxpeckers, they pick off the bugs on the rhino, and then the rhino gives them protection from maybe their own predators. So both of those animals are benefiting from one another, so that's why it is mutualism. And I'll give you one more example, and since it's spring now, you'll see this a lot, that would be like a bee and a flower. So bees go up to flowers to get the nectar, so the bees are benefiting from the flower, and the flower is also benefiting from the bee, because while bees go onto those flowers, pollen gets all over the bees, and when a bee goes to another flower, it actually pollinates that flower. So the bee getting nectar from the plant, and then the plant getting pollinated from the bee. So that's another mutualist, mutualistic relationship. So that's mutualism, they both benefit. Another type is called commensalism. Um, this is when one organism benefits and then the other one is un 
harmed. So this one is kind of a gross example and probably something you don't know about or ever really want to think about. But an example of this is um, humans and um, domestic. I'm sorry, I'm going to say this wrong. Demodicids? Demodicids? <laughs> so these are actually little mites that live on our eyelashes. So we don't get any sort of benefit or harm from these little eyelash mites, but they get to survive in our eyelashes, so they're benefiting from us. Us, in return, are not getting harmed or benefited in any sort of way. Another example is a shark and a remora fish. So if you've ever seen sharks, sometimes they have these little fish that are stuck to the side of them. So those sharks, in no way are they benefiting or being harmed from those little fish. The fish are just on the shark to get a ride and get protection, essentially. So one benefits, the other is not harmed or benefited. And then our last one is parasitism. So we've had it where both benefit, one benefits, one doesn't, and now we have one where one benefits and one is harmed. So there's this example of a hornworm caterpillar and a brachinoid wasp. So the wasp essentially, I think, like... Uh, has their babies inside of this caterpillar and so when those babies are starting to uh, grow they essentially eat the caterpillar alive and it dies um another example like for us would be us having a tapeworm inside of us so the tapeworm essentially lives inside your intestines and it eats all of the food that we eat so it's getting all of the nutrients from the food while we are getting nothing so the tapeworm is being benefited from us but we are being harmed in the process through that tapeworm and something interesting too is it was actually a trend like in the 19 sometime in the 1900s where people would actually take a tapeworm pill as a dietary supplement so People knowingly consume tapeworms to try to lose weight. It's crazy to think of all the diet trends that have happened, and I think that is definitely one of the craziest ones. Like, you are knowingly putting a parasite in your body to lose weight. That's just insane. So parasitism is, parasitism is when one benefits and the other one is harmed. So what you're going to do after watching this video, because we're already done with our slideshow. Well, here's another example too. Like a leech or a hookworm. Kind of like what I said about the tapeworm. So we're done with this. Now you're going to do the Google form. It's called symbiosis. You're first going to watch this video of giraffes. You're going to say which type of competition the video is showing. So that would be like our inter or intra specific. You're going to match the term to its definition, so you're going to match whether, like, this one here is paras parasitism, mutualism, commensalism, or predation. And then down here, you need to give an example of each type of symbiotic relationship. It has to be different than the ones that I said in the PowerPoint. So for, like, mutualism, you cannot say an oxpecker and a rhino or a bee and a flower. Parasitism, you can't say the larva one, the wasp one, or a tapeworm. And for commensalism, you cannot do the eyelash mites or the remora fish and shark. So again, sorry, not like usual, but with this one, since you're typing your answers, I do have to go in and grade it myself, so you are not going to get your grades back right when you submit it. As soon as you submit it, I will try to get it corrected. Just make sure you turn it on on Classroom so that way I know you're done so I can create it, all right? So if you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.